Well, each year, a bunch of diets and diet promoters promise quick results, backing, with, uh, backing these up with great testimonials, right? We see them all the time on TV. Well, sadly, many of these diets are targeting, targeting folks who have already made and have that negative self-image of themselves, as well as looking at those um, that don't really have a scientific approach to those diets. Well, we've got nutrition and health ex expert Nancy Addison here with tips on how to handle fad diets. And there are tons of them, right? I keep seeing <laughs> yeah. commercials. And you see those really cute, skinny people after they've been a little heavier. It's very magical. And you're saying, be careful, right? It's a huge industry. And you know, there's just millions of fad diets and one of the things you want to look for is you want to see <clears throat> if it's encouraging you to keep up your exercise, if it's encouraging fresh fruits and vegetables and you know just really kind of look at it. But there are four basic diets that I think a lot of people are on today and I think we're going to we're going to talk about them because you know everybody wants to get off those holiday yeah, pans and start off the new year feeling really great. Now are these diets that you approve of or that you think it's it's not going to work it is truly just a fad? Well you know I think a lot of them have some good points to them and I think some people uh, it may work for most of the time but you know I think they they go by one or two studies and they don't really have the full picture and it doesn't really teach people how to eat properly all of the time mm -hmm. for the rest of their lives. Okay, so let's talk about some of these. And one of the ones you talk about is the gluten-free diets. Very trendy right now. I always look at gluten-free like we can all stand and cut a little bit out of our diets, right? Tell me about it. Well, yes. I mean, uh, gluten, actually, over the last hundred years, wheat and a lot of gluten-containing grains, they've been hybrid to have actually, you know, 80% more gluten in them than they did a hundred mm. years ago. Wow. And gluten is the, another word for glue. And so if people are eating white refined flour that has no fiber in it, and you mix that with water, if anybody's ever made paper mache mm -hmm. at school, mm -hmm. you know that turns into glue. And so it gets down into your intestinal tract and it gums everything up. Mm -hmm. So eating white refined pasty kind of flours is really not a healthy thing these days. So gluten free, it's very serious for some people because it's important if they have celiac disease or they're very gluten intolerant. But um, a lot of the things I've found that are gluten-free actually have enormous amounts of sugar mm -hmm. in them. To make and, them taste okay. And that's exactly right. And so you need to just be aware of that. Mm -hmm. And, and just eating eat naturally gluten-free then, right? Right. And if you're getting a gluten-free uh, uh, food or something, look and see if it's 100% whole grain. Mm -hmm. And also see how much sugar is actually in that package. And, mm -hmm. and you know, anytime we can avoid processed foods, that's, you know, a good thing. And, and another, another thing, diet. She, another thing that we talked about, remember earlier, was that how many things say uh, gluten free on the package and it has nothing to do with gluten. It's just like a sales and marketing thing. That's right. That's right. And they're just getting on the bandwagon. Right. And so, you know, you just want to be aware of that. Right. And we've got a couple more diets. One that Amy always talks about is the paleo diet. Tell us about that. Oh, it's so. Do you like it? <laughs> well, you know, it has some good points to it. Okay. Um, it's, uh, we're supposed to eat like the caveman, and I think mm -hmm. it gives a lot of men more encouragement to eat fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But I think also when they're not eating things that are like breads or pastas or things like that, they may not e be eating enough fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and they may be eating more meat than they should. Because mm -hmm. when you get over 35% of meat in your diet, it can become toxic. Mm -hmm. And of course, all the diets that heal the body are plant-based. And so I think uh, some people may go overboard with the meat on that one. Okay. And of course, on that one, they only recommend water, coconut water, and green tea. So there's no soda. Is there's no coffee? No, no wine. wine. What? I'm no so a lot of these people going on that diet, you know, I don't know how well they're sticking mm -hmm. to it. But you what know, about the raw food diet? The raw food diet has actually uh, got some really good points to it. And that, back in 1930, Dr. Max Gerson, he started curing people like Dr. Albert Schweitzer of diabetes using a mostly raw food diet. And I'm saying mostly because it wasn't 100% raw. And I think so many times people take things to extremes. Well, raw food diet has natural live enzymes. So say these foods that are fresh fruits and vegetables, they bring with it natural enzymes that helps us digest the food properly. Mm -hmm. So that the enzymes that we already have can go about their business fixing everything in our body that they're supposed to be fixing. Absolutely. It supplements our diet. Right. And, it, and our digestive enzymes are, are so important and we only have a limited amount. And as we age, we use those up. And when they're gone, we die. Okay. 
quickly because we have to wrap. I know you have a new book that's out, right? Yes, uh, Raising Healthy Children is coming out February 13th. Okay, nice. very good. And of course, you can get a free excerpt of Nancy's new book, Raising Healthy Children, on her website. The book comes out in February, February 16th. And be sure to sign up for her free newsletter there, too. So much great information and maybe even some tips on that last uh, diet we didn't quite get to, which is fasting. <laughs> All right, want to have a nice lunch and help a good cause at the same time? We'll show you how when the broadcast returns.